butterflies, it's your girl Alea. I tried out some new Juvia's Place products. Um, the concealer and two of her foundations. Also this powder, I am Magic Setting Powder. And I want you to check it out and tell me what you think. The red one is kind of looking good. Like, I, I'm late to the party, to the Juvia's Place party, but the reason why I'm here now is because I want to try out new foundations because I'm sick of the same old shit that I've been using and it's time. It's time to do other things. Let's give it a go. Why not? And um, basically I needed a new concealer because I'm not feeling the ones that I have. They're just creasing. They're not respecting my wrinkles. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so I want a new concealer. I was like, oh, let me try Juvia's Place concealer. I've also bought some others for some others. And um, I was like, she had a sale. So I was like, hey, oh, girl, you have a sale? Yes, let me get some more of these things. And I got some more things for, like, a real good price. So I'm going to support a black business, especially if they haven't got their sale. Like, yeah. All right, so let's get right into this video. And this is the finished look. You can see how I got there. It was a struggle. Okay. Hey, guys. I did another blindfold challenge. So I did these struggle braids, blindfolded, cause I be bored. Like this shit is boring, it's killer babe. So I'm finding things to do. I'm really active on my YouTube channel. If you're not following me on YouTube, NYC Butterfly Braids Hair Story Podcast, do it. If you're not following me at NYC Butterfly Braids Hair Story Podcast on Instagram, you don't know the scoop. You're not on. You're not in the loop, okay? And you're not my real friend. I said what I said, okay? So all my real friends, follow me at Hair Story Podcast, at Butterfly underscore Braids, at Hairstyles by Her underscore, and they subscribe to my YouTube channel because they love me and they can't get enough of me. You can't even see me like that. So you need to be subscribed to all my ch channels and shit so that we can be in visitations of, of each other. Like, because we're not having no visitation rights, right? So like, it was a struggle because... Anytime, well, for me, when I'm trying new things, I get all anxious and weird. So I was doing that. But um, bear with me and check it out. And we'll get through this together. You, me, we. Let's go. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the channel. I am um doing some foundation swatches. Like, I'm trying to find a new foundation. I stick with, which yet? This is my favorite. Like, I so much I have a new one before I even finish the old one in case. Because I travel with this one. And if I lose my bag, which I've lost many bags, and then I want to make sure that I have, um, and this is L'Oreal True Match in the color C7. I feel like this is my color. I feel like it's my True Match. Anyway, so yeah, keep it back up just in case I lose this one. I've lost many makeups, kits, okay? Because I run around, I travel a lot, and that happens. So I like to have a good drugstore foundation because what if I'm in Georgia or some random state and I can't get to MAC, I can't get to this, I can't get to that. I need to, I need it. Since I, this has happened to me, I go to the drugstore and I need something I can grab that's cheap, that's not going to be like break my pockets or whatever. So I like this one. This one is like what? You could get this online for like $8. Sis. And it's not just that. Like it is really good. I, so I try to upgrade one year or one time recently and then I end up getting this. This is um Maybelline 24 hour or whatever and full coverage in the color 334. So I'm going to do like a little situation. Oh, my skin is just popping. I just like, you know, keep moisturizing and everything. And um then recently this year, this is not new, but I it's new to me cuz I'm like, let me try to, you know, something different because these that works for me so well. I should just stick with that. Even tried the this version of that, which is the um Lumi match, which is like the, the SPF I think version of the of that one. I don't know. It's a, a luminous version of it. Whatever, I like what I like. So I bought a few um bomb ass foundations from Juvia's place. And I also got milk. So I ordered milk because I like the brand, I like the company and I like the way it looks on my sister's skin. So in a new video, make sure you subscribe because I'll be trying milk and if you are my foundation twin. You're going to like this series because I'm finding the good shit for me. This was on sale because this just is the Juvia's Place. And I got a couple of products from Juvia's Place. This is my first time working with them ever. So if I like them, I'll keep continue to work with them. So you, I like what I like. 
So this is in the color Ethiopia 400. And I picked these based off of their website as well as um, into other YouTubers. That's why I'm sharing it because if that helped me, this is the same little box then it, I could help somebody else. Give me the goods. I'm so excited. And this is the color, what was this? Rio. So I got 430 and 410. That's a big jump. But uh, I couldn't decide. Cause my, and also like it's, I've been inside a lot and I'm not in the sun like I usually am. So I'm not even my like summer color. I'm like my winter, my winter color is extended. So I'm really, this is the lightest I think I've been in a while. And oddly enough, my good old fashioned true match always holds me down through these black times and somehow still through the darkest times. But I will switch it up. So I'm going to show you how my true match, I shake it up. I love this little liquid shit. And then I'm going to blend these out. I mean, whichever one I like better of the Julia Place, the 430 410. I'm gonna blend them out with on one side with a brush and the other side with a sponge, just like I see all the other YouTubers do. Right now, we're just gonna do a splash test, and this is my true match. Ooh, so good. You see that? Look at that match. It's true. They don't call it true match for no ass reason. This is the 510 in the Infallible, which is my most recent purchase. And just a little scooch. Oh wow, that's a lot of scooch. And I use this. And it it, it, it could be matchy. It looks like my match, right? When I blend it out, it gives me orange. Hey Apple! What? You look fruity. <laughs> and I'm no orange, okay? So um this, this. I'm gonna jump right into the Juvias. So shake it up. Do you do you shake this up? I don't know, it feels thick as hell. And I've heard it's thick as hell. Oh, I have to take up the little. Because I was like, is it like, it's a little. I swear I was judging it. I was like, it just comes right out. Mm -hmm. So this is the first one. Which is this? This is Ethiopia. Girl, Ethiopia. Ooh. I like the color so far. It's thick, girl. So Ethiopia looks like that. These colors look like that. True match and infallible. And this is Ethiopia. I'm interested in Ethiopia. I'm interested. I'm interested. We're opening up um, number 430, Rio. And this is the one I was like, it was between Rio and Punta Cana for me. Oh, wow. Let's see that. Yeet, I didn't need all that. Okay, so for me, it was between Rio and Punta oh, Maybe I didn't need a little more, okay. And Punta Cana. And it feels like I was off. <laughs> These don't match. They match certain parts of my face, but not truly like my God. I'm gonna end up sticking with True Match. And I really wanted this to work. Okay. I mean, I could make it work. I'm gonna make it work today. If I had to choose which one I'm gonna make work. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I love them. I like these a lot better. They look like my skin. But also I bought these in the store. I they, There's no store right now to go buy these things, so. Shaking, I'll shoot my shot. I'm gonna be a typical YouTuber and pick this one because I feel this is so orange. I don't know if you can you can see it, right? It is very orange. I also want this to dry down so you could get to the oxidization of it, which I think probably would have happened by now. Maybe I could blend them out a little bit just to give it a just to catch a vibe. Up into the eye with that, and then put this one. The red one is kind of looking good. It 
could go either way. So I think I'm going to do a two-part video. So I'm going to do, yeah, this is going to be a two-part video. For this one, I'm going to start off with the, uh, mm. I'm very interested about which one matches my neck. Let's do a neck test real fast because that's important. So on this side of my neck, this is the 430. It don't match. And on this side of my neck, this is Rio. No, this is the Ethiopia. page Havana I probably should have got Havana that's 420 410 with Nairobi and 430 was I might have should have got Havana and Havana was speaking to me but I didn't hear I didn't have I didn't listen to that bitch I'm not a person that does foundation first so this was gonna be a first for me Ethiopia is open they're both open what the fuck is the cover for this oh that's why it came out all crazy because it wasn't even covered. Okay. So I'm starting with this one because it's already open and this is Ethiopia in the code 400. Whew, bear with me. Let me get a sponge fresh and clean and let me wet it. Cause I'm gonna be doing one side with my sponge. You know I always apply with a brush, but maybe you wanna see that. Do you wanna see that? That's what y'all like to see, so I'm giving you what you like. So. I'm gonna go and let me just put a couple dots on my face. Ooh, it's so thick. It's like chocolate. Damn, I didn't even do brows. I'm do I'm different. <clears throat> Let's just work this side out first. Oh, I usually like to wet my brush too. Did I wet it with setting spray? Oh god. I'm disrespectful. I was supposed to wet that brush, that sponge with water. I don't wet it with setting spray. I mean a lot. Interesting. So we working that out. Okay, I'm not as intimidated as I was when I saw this shit. But things blend out differently all the time. So this is exactly half of my face and I didn't even get my nose. Nose is tricky when it comes to like a half situation. Okay, and I'm doing a, a light coverage, I guess. But I'm not going in. I'm not. Let's just like, let's just wear it. I'm not going anywhere, first of all. Let's be clear about that. <laughs> I actually like that and I have not blended it into my neck. I'm not gonna blend it into my neck. I just wanna see how it rolls. I don't always blend my makeup, makeup into my neck. Sometimes I blend down into my like this, but I don't always go down, down. Woo! I don't always go down, down, unless I'm going like out, out, and I got my hair up, up. Cause usually I have hair like all the way down there, so I don't do that. But I'm. I'm not mad at this. I'm not mad at this. So now I'm going in with a little bit of, um, what is this? What the fuck color is this? Ethiopia 400 on this side. And let me just say right now, I like it. Is it true match? Hmm, no. But you can watch my true match video. I'm gonna actually, I didn't, I didn't decide to label that true match, but I'm gonna label that true match that video when I upload tonight. Because I need y'all to understand. I don't, I hate, I realize that I don't like blending my makeup out with a sponge. It takes forever and it dirties your sponge like so bad. It could be this sponge. This is a bootleg beauty blender, so you know you can't really run around with these and be making a 
assessments but even my best beauty blender like I don't mm -mm. so that's that it is on and I didn't go in like mad coverage but I like it what do y'all think let me look at it this is my super magnifying mirror I like it I feel this coverage. I'm gonna use my brush to blend out the rest of the neck and shit because I don't have all day to beat it with that sponge. Mm. Good luck for all you sponge people. I don't like it. So that was Ethiopia 400, right? Yes, it was. And it, she looks pretty on me. I think this is cute. I really do. I think it will blend into my neck nicely. And um, good for, good for me. Pick up my color, Ethiopia. I'm so happy. All right, so I picked my color correctly. So now that we've done that, let's get into this Sahara, I believe. Yes, this is Sahara. I wanted to try the Kalahari, but it wasn't available on there. It was only available on Ulta. And I didn't want to buy nothing from Ulta. So I like that it comes with the little, you know, seal me up. Because you know I be, whew, these powders be all over the place. Talk shit, just let it oxidize. And it looks good. I feel smooth, smooth. And I feel like it looks good. So I know I'm late to the party, to Juvia's party. But um, you know there's a lot of controversy with this brand. And I'm not one necessarily one to give a fuck about all that. But it doesn't really spice up my life. I don't like drama. So, ooh, this is big. That's what he said. Whatever. Um, a lot of ingredients. Blah 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 blah. What's the color? That's all I want to know. The color is 16. So hopefully it will make me look 16 again. Ooh, snap on that. But see, it was like nobody opened this. Virgin. <gasps> She's big and her <clears throat> is big too. So wait, let me get my mirror because I'm nervous. I never use this product and I don't want to want to. Okay. Okay. Ooh, she's a she's a glider. Okay. Does she work wonders for people who have eyes that crease? I've always had these creasing ass eyes. Like, just disrespectful. Ooh, she's bright. I really want to write concealer because I don't have one. So, and it's funny, I did not do my brows. I never did my brows last. And I'm not even going to go in with highlight on my brow, forehead and this and that because I'm going to just take some of this. I'm not going nowhere. But I'm gonna do all that and I'm gonna take some of this and just hit that. Hit those areas. Where yeah, I would like my highlight. Cause I don't need it to be bright. It's a, this is bright. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go over it with a sponge. You're probably cringing right now, like, who blends up your concealer with a brush? Oh, I do. And when I want to place it, and I'm gonna go in on top with a little bit more and blend it out with a brush. I'm gonna let that was fine. I'm gonna just get hit those lids as well because I didn't do anything to my lids because of the damn. Um. Cause I didn't do my brows, so there you go. So now that that is there, I'm gonna put in a little more and blend it out with a brush. I have dips, okay, and I have lines, fine, fine lines, fine, disrespectful lines. You gotta be careful when you pull this out because I had a little splash. 
I, that's my pool. I'm rough. Um, I use it like a little. Let me wet this with water. Is it like a little? A little um brush now. Go up in it. And it's crazy. But I like the way it blends out. It is bright for me. Like, you never seen people darker using this color. And it's like, girl, how do you do it, man? She's not giving me a hard time blending. I just wish it was a little browner. So I would love to go back into the studio space store and get me something a little bit browner. do this white girl concealer oh my god <laughs> like the ghost of Christmas past so I'm going back in with my sponge you gotta bring some of that color back in my skin <laughs> Definitely gonna need a contour because who the fuck is this? Right. There's a fucking blow. Um, let's put the powder right now. Just set that under the eye. Cause she's creasing. She's decreasing. And how you make it's eye didn't put a lot. Because it's so bright. I'm just pressing that in. and I think it will make sense liquid but it's solid if that makes sense yes I love it I'm a brush person I don't care I hate cleaning brushes but I have a brush cleaner so, solve that problem. And then just like once or twice a week, depending on how aggressive I am with my makeup, I have so many brushes, I could get away with like, not, not cleaning them right away. Is this the brush I use for my concealer? Yes, it is. Is this it? This ain't it. This is it. And I'll go with this. Hit that nose bridge. Oh, I'm from the boss. We like to call this high bridge. Run, run down high bridge. So, a buggy, I said, what up? You know this this right here this ain't for everybody it depends on your face shape if this is and your nose shape 
so I don't always do this and also the look you're going for. set up is scared the fuck out of me I have to introduce this fix it okay yeah that everything was cool the foundation yes this shit right here though bright black clock bright oh my god oh my god it's bright no Jamaicans be like you too you too bright Yes, this ain't what they talking about, but yo, shoe fits. Wear it. Okay. I'm going to run this out a little bit. I don't usually use this sponge to blend out my, my contour on my nose, but I'm going to do that today. I need the colors. Mm-hmm. It's giving me life. That's giving me life. So now I'm gonna go in with my what is it, Rio? No, not Rio. For Ethiopia, just a little bit for my eye, for my lids. I have to because it is. I didn't do my eyebrows and I don't know how that is gonna work. But let me do the eyebrows. I'm not gonna use the her that highlighter for my eyebrows. Whew, that ain't it. Not for the brows. First of all, let me just do a quick brow. I'm gonna quick so quick I'm using a pencil. Like I'm not even gonna do it. And I hate a boxy brow. I'm trying so hard to not. It's fun. It is exciting trying a new foundation. I don't care for number 16. Bright ass. I mean, she is bright. Let me set my rest of my powders and, and um, oh wow, imagine this on my nose. Ooh, I'm gonna do it. Take, scrape it down, girl. Scrape it down. Ooh, I'm, I'm being brave. Bright, bright, just give me. 
brown, bring that brown in there. Look at the brown. Whew, okay. This cold's not too like white. That worked. I'm going with my powder down that stripe. Now I can hit this, the other highlights. Cause I didn't want to hit it. Cause I was like, uh, what? frowned upon. I don't know. But, yeah, setting spray is expensive. Every ounce counts. And I like to press one and do my skin. So far, I mean... feel like it's very me it's on like a russian day like not having an extra and it's cute i didn't use a ton of product i just used all juvia's place shit on my skin and for my eyeshadow i went into my og jacqueline hill palette i was struggling with this concealer but i feel like i just need to work with this and i don't have to use a lot because i have a little face and i don't need a shit ton of concealer for me it's just right that's in the like little circles and you know you're blending that together so i wouldn't recommend if you don't like a super bright concealer color don't get 16 if you're my color 16 is white lady bright like this is this is i want to see your manager white and um it has like a brown tint to it but it's just very bright I don't know. Some days, some days you want to buy concealer like that. I don't know though what day that is for me. So yeah, it's a no for me, doc. If you, if you like my hair, I did a um, or you hate it, whatever. I did a video on my channel where I do a series where I do my hair blindfolded. So that's why these braids look struggling. So I blindfolded myself and I did my hair. Cause I'm a hairstylist. Check out hairstylesbyher.com. Check out NYC Butterfly Braids Hair Story Podcast streaming on all platforms. iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, Anchor. Everywhere you listen to podcasts, you can hear my podcast. And I would love for you to check it out. Put some butterflies in the comments so I know you know you know, you know that we fear me. Until next time, butterflies. We don't support black brands. Like, I support Juvie's Place. I'm continue to buy products. I'm going to go back and get a little browner concealer for my taste. And, um... I'm loving the the um, 400 on me and I can't wait to try the 430 in my next video and stay tuned because I'm be trying out a bunch of new concealers. I got milk coming. I got um, 
What else am I trying? Oh, the Liquid Mac. I never tried Liquid Mac. I only had the Compact. That was my first makeup I ever really got was my MAC Compact NC45. And that was way back in the day. So I'm going to go and get a new one when stores open back up because I don't want to... Mm, no. I, I, me and MAC, we got... We got history, so I'm gonna just walk up to the to the store right for that. Yeah, I'm not doing that online, even though I know what my color was. I feel like my color has changed a lot over time, just like all the discoloration in my skin, hyperpigmentation. Ooh, speaking of which, is this help me out with the hyperpigmentation? Because I didn't color correct, and I usually got it right here. I see it. Got a little more right there. I should accent that more sometimes. Anyway, but um, got a little more right there. But I see a little creasing already. I don't usually even by now I see my oils, but I've been hydrating a lot, so like my skin doesn't need to produce oil because I'm always juicy, and it's not really creasing not more than usual you can't expect much if your face is creasing it's because you got wrinkles bitch what you want you know what i'm saying and i did not put any primer on i didn't i just want to wear it and see how it wears i didn't put any primer on so if i'm wearing it like every day and i'm actually going somewhere then i'll put some primer on but i don't wear primer every day so i'm not gonna put primer on to see how a makeup will wear on a regular day if i don't wear makeup every day i mean I, <laughs> Ooh, I don't wear makeup every day, but if I don't wear primer every day, sometimes I just beat my face and I go about my business. Okay, right. So until next time, bye guys. I made your hair grow long, your edges stay strong, and your concealer lasts on and on. Cause you know that that be it right there. And then your oils just like chill, chill. Unless you're super dry, then hey, drink some water.